Virgo friends, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well. This is going to be a reading for the next two weeks. For additional weekly readings, you could definitely catch me on Facebook Live. Definitely feel free to check that out every Wednesday. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. I am using for you guys Wheel of the Year. Great deck. Virgo, just keep in mind, especially those of you that are new, I am reading for a lot of you. If the reading doesn't resonate for you, please absolutely feel free to watch your other signs. Virgo, Spirit, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs, March 4th to the 17th, 2019 for Virgo. Virgo, those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Instant Go. Links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. All right, this is going to be your overall energy. At the bottom of the deck, the Six of Pentacles. You know, this represents, you know, it's a generous energy, that giving and receiving. You know, financially being in a very good place, feeling balanced. But the Six of Swords is the overall energy. For some of you, this is going to be you moving forward. You know, moving from crappy, shitty times to much more calmer, peaceful times. Moving toward peace of mind, balance, harmony. You have two sixes there. For some of you, definitely six could be important. Sixes do represent family, peace, harmony. It could also be a time frame for some of you. Six days, six weeks. The sixth of the month. The 15th. This could also be physically moving. Some of you could be traveling. I definitely see some of you receiving a raise, promotion, moving up within the company that you work for. Absolutely getting acknowledged this week. Some of you, you're starting out with the Three of Wands. Some of you definitely could be dealing with a situation involving three people. You know, this, this does talk about something beginning, expanding, growing, things taking root. But I also feel like, you know... You're sitting here wishing, willing, hoping for something to happen. Waiting on a decision with the lover's card. Being here. It could be a choice, a decision that allows for things to move forward. Because you do also have the chariot here too. So you have Gemini. You have Cancer here. So some of you could be... You're, you're definitely waiting on a decision, making a decision that allows for you to move forward, that allows for you to, you know, take control of these, uh, take, you know, take, take the reins and steer this chariot wherever you want it to go and move forward. You know, if things have been stagnant, Virgo, nothing's really been happening. The energy of the chariot really is going to push things forward for you. 
Some of you definitely could be moving toward a new job. The Eight of Pentacles. Or moving up within the company that you currently work for. You know, and the Chariot is the ultimate victory and success card. You know, moving forward, more financial abundance, security. You know, this is also working very hard. Something has your focus, Virgo, your attention. And I feel like you are investing a lot into this. Again, you know, with this Eight of Pentacles, this could be you re receiving a raise, promotion. You could also be learning something new. And being very successful with it. You know, with the Three of Pentacles... This, this definitely could be you being watched, getting recognized in the workplace, getting noticed, working very hard, working on a team, working with other people, you know, just working hard on a project, something like that. And this is you guys, whoops, sorry, the Queen of Pentacles, being very grounded, practical, making excellent dis, you know, decisions, especially in regards to your finances, career. There could be an air sign person, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, that you're waiting on. You know, this could even represent an attorney. You're definitely waiting on something because you also have the hangman right above the king of swords. So it is possible that you could be waiting on your attorney to contact you. Now, this could also represent, you know, being in limbo. Maybe you're waiting on a decision from the company that you work for. I do feel for some of you, you know, this is you receiving enlightenment, definitely. You know, you have the light coming right down here. And you are going to see it. You are going to receive it. Or maybe some of you, you know, are having a fresh perspective when it comes to making a decision. It's you looking at things differently or receiving a decision, being enlightened with the hangman. And it very well could be communication from your attorney, maybe an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, an earth sign, female, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or a Gemini definitely comes through strongly. But I do feel like many of you are working very hard, whether this is with, within your career or something else. You're really working hard, you know, dev devoting a, a lot of time, energy, and effort into something. And I feel like it really is going to pay off for you, Virgo. You know, this is all this also represents the King of Swords, truth, clarity. Some of you are waiting on infor inf on information. You know, or something to be revealed. And you're definitely moving towards that. You're, you're definitely leaving troubled times behind. And moving forward toward financial success, being recognized. And coming through very successful, really, for many of you. I mean, definitely. And this is the, this is the Virgo card, the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you definitely are getting a significant raise, maybe even going out on your own and starting your own business, starting something new and waiting on a decision or your attorney concerning that. Messages from your angels for additional guidance, clarification for Virgo Spirit. March 4th to the 17th for Virgo. Virgo. Okay, definitely that one. Wow. 
Wow, nice. Okay, Bethany, when you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a massage, sea salt bath, or pedicure. I like this card. Beautiful. Make time for yourself. You know, because, you know, for some of you, things probably haven't been the easiest to deal with. But you're absolutely moving toward more harmony within your relationships, moving toward peace of mind, a much more positive energy. And now's the time to make more time for yourself. And you deserve it. You're working very hard. And you deserve it. You deserve a break. Right? Beautiful. Beautiful. Looks very, very nice for the next two weeks for you guys. If it did not resonate, please, again, watch your other signs. But I hope you guys have a beautiful two weeks. And I will see you guys back here very soon. Take care, Virgo.